Hi, today I am going to read The Noisy House, a folk tale from Eastern Europe retold by Ellen. Long ago, a poor man lived in a hut with his wife, his mother and his six children. They all lived in one room. Everyone was grumpy because it was so crowded. In winter, the nights were long and the days were cold. Everyone was inside. The man and his wife argued. The children got into fights. It was noisy all the time. The man put on his coat. He went to the home of the rabbi. The man said, Holy rabbi, things are bad at my house and they get worse all the time. We are so poor. My wife, my six children, my mother and I live in a small hut. All I hear is crying and arguing. Help me, Rabbi. The Rabbi listened. He thought for a long time. Then the Rabbi said, Promise to do what I say. Things will get better. The man said, I promise I will do anything you say. See? The rabbi asked, do you have any chickens? The man said, yes, I have some chickens. The rabbi said, very good, take the chickens into your house to live with you. The poor man was surprised, but he had promised the rabbi. He went home and brought the chickens into the hut. The hut grew more crowded and noisy. Chickens were everywhere. The man went back to the rabbi. Holy rabbi, my house is more noisy than before. The chickens have taken over. Before I heard the crying and arguing. Now there is clucking too. Please help me. I will do what you tell me. The rabbi thought for a long time. Then he said, do you keep a goat? Yes, but it is not a very good goat, said the man. It will be fine. Bring the goat into the house, said the rabbi. Oh no, cried the man. The rabbi said, you promised to do what I say. Now go home and bring the goat inside. So the man went home. He took the goat into his hut. The goat went wild. It ran around the room. It knocked down the children. Go back to the rabbi, shouted, shouted the man's wife. Now, shouted his mother. So the poor man went back to the rabbi. Holy rabbi, my house is even more crowded and noisy. Now the goat has taken over. It runs around the house. The rabbi listened. He thought for a long time. Then he said, do you have a cow? The man said, yes, I have a cow. The rabbi said, go home and take the cow into your house. Oh no, cried the man. Do it now, said rabbi. The man walked home slowly. He took the cow into his house. He wondered what the rabbi was thinking. The cow mooed all the time. It chased the goat. The goat chased the children. The children cried. They chased the chickens. His wife and his mother covered their ears. At last, the man could not stand the noise. He went back to the rabbi. He said, Holy rabbi, help me. The cow moves. It chases the goat. Then the goat chases the chickens. The chickens fly and cluck. I cannot stand the noise, the rabbi thought. Then he said, go home, take all of the animals out of the hut. The man thanked the rabbi. He said, I will do it. I will do it. That night, the man, his wife, his mother and the six children slept in peace. In the morning, the man went to see the rabbi. He said, Holy Rabbi, I thank you. Now it is quiet in my house. It is so peaceful. The end.